Hey, good morning. So one thing that uh, one thing I wanted to relearn and uh, was asked is how do you serialize an object? And I realized that I had no idea. So <clears throat> I figured that I would share this little find with everybody here. Um, and this is just kind of in a little MVC project I made here. So I won't go through like the actual design of the project. We're just going to talk about the serialization of it. So uh, long story short here. Um, I get some red shown for whatever reason. Oh, uh, some properties. That's okay. So I do have a view here, and uh, this is already of model view for my uh, model student. So let's go ahead and just create that. And if you don't know how to make a model, you just in your MVC project or whatever, whatever class you want to serialize. Um, in my case, I'm doing this in a web project, and I created a class called student. So. I'm going to declare it as serializable. You declare, you give it that attribute so that the uh, the or data notation attribute, I guess, uh, so that the uh, compiler knows that this is serializable. And we're going to do public int id because students have an id, right? And we'll do public string name because students have a name. And that's all we're going to do. We're just going to serialize those two things. And uh, I'm going to say that this is the key. And I can already see that I need to include some stuff here. So I need to include my system component model data notations. And again, these are data, these are called data notations uh, or data notation attributes, whatever you want to call them. And uh, I will just actually, I'll leave it at that. I won't make this too complex. And uh, we'll say display name equals name. And we'll say display name equals student ID. Okay. So we have an ID and we have a name attribute here. And that's all we're going to leave. And now that's all we have to do to this class. Pretty cool, right? If we want to serialize something. So now we have our view here. Let's go over to our controller or whatever class it is that you have your object being called in. And we need to do a couple things. We need to uh, uh, we need to get the path to where to write the file. So as you go, and for me, I have to contact the server and tell it to map the path. And I'm mapping it to this folder that I have here in my content called files and then I will have to have an XML serializer and if you don't have this showing up you need to import your system XML dot serialization namespace so we'll say XML serializer serialize or we'll just call this uh, serial maybe equals new XML serializer. It's going to want the type. Uh, now you can just straight up put your uh, type in there. So you could, uh, if you wanted, you could do models.student if you know that's exactly what you're going to do. If you don't know that that's what you're going to know, I have to do, uh, you'd have to do a type of in this they have to get the actual type. Um, now, let's say for more robust coding, you didn't know what you were getting. You could pass this variable here, and that's what we're doing. So I'm going to say model that get type, and now this is a little bit more robust. It can be used for anything. And then finally, we have to have a. Uh, see, this is messing me up. Uh, I'm writing Java stuff. I almost put Java IO, uh, system IO stream writer. I'll say writer equals new. And it's going to want to know where to write your file to. You can see there's plenty of other uh, things you can do here, but we're just going to tell it where to write the file. And that's where we got it before. That's our path attribute here. So I'm going to say path plus the name of the file denoted by two forward slashes because if you only put one it's going to improperly name it and we'll call this test.xml to let it know that it's an xml file and then we're going to say writer.write or sorry 
I will not be doing that. Serial, serial dot serialize. And then it's going to want the writer, the writing object, and that's this that we just created. And it's going to want the object, and the object must be of the exact same type, or in this case, we can just pass the model. And that's it. So now we can just say writer at close, because we're no longer going to be using it. And I'll remove my breakpoint, and that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and build our project. So we just have this little page here, um, call, which I called home, and it already has, this is just built off of our view, and there's another tutorial on that. And essentially, let's just put a name, Tim, and I'm going to create that. And then I just made a little feedback, so this was a successful process. So let's go take a look. Uh, I'm going to open up my folder here. Uh, it's uh, where I navigated to, actually, is my project. And you can see this file was created called test. I'm going to go ahead and open it in Notepad. And you can see that it serialized the object. It wrote it out to XML. So it wrote the ID attribute tag with the values. And I wrote the name attribute or and tags with the value. And it gave it the class name of student. So pretty cool. So that's all you have to do to serialize an object. And you can do that back and forth between reading and writing. So this is how to write one. Maybe I'll do one how to read next. Thanks for watching.